well this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 it happens to be Thursday February 13th 2014 I couldn't sleep I woke up early But the coffee dripping is not what this video is about because since we are having this mini ice age this year due to climate change, I will show you why I'm taking the video. The purpose of this video is Another blizzard. This one is supposed to be most likely the worst yet. Uh, they predict 10 to 14 inches here in northeastern New Jersey. And uh, it's coming down quite heavy. I don't know how much you can see. Due to the snow blindness, the glare from the snow, but all I see is white. And uh, mm, there's the walkway, the porch on the side of the house, and uh, it's pretty heavy duty coming down thick. with a little wind chill which means even more shoveling for me in the past two weeks um, eh, this would be my third shoveling project because of this very severe winter very unusually sh strange severe winter thank you very much greedy corporations for creating this climate change which is causing this and giving me all this extra work to shovel Right, the tall pine tree across the street and if it wasn't for the the evergreens you wouldn't be able to see just how much snow is coming down because then the whole area would be totally glared out from the uh, the white of the snow so that's it This is the beginning of the blizzard of February 2014. It's not over. I mean, it's still early. All right. Definitely coming down heavy. Oh boy. Gee, my lower back is going to feel wonderful after this winter season. I might just need a chiropractor. Uh, this old man winter is definitely uh, 
definitely a powerful one that's all I have to say I haven't seen a winter like this oh gosh I don't think I've ever seen a winter quite like this to be honest with you and uh, as a kid I do remember some very heavy snowfalls so I'll catch you later with the update northeastern New Jersey yet another blizzard okay this is James P Madonna of Mega Life 21 and uh, before you saw the uh, uh, yet another great blizzard outside um, this happens to be Thursday um, February uh, 13th 2014 um, so, so on a lighter note I just want to show you uh, a difference uh, between a standard compact fluorescent energy saving light bulb fluorescent light bulb that you screw in it's spiral um, the difference between a standard one and uh, a daylight fluorescent compact fluorescent um, bulb that gives off full spectrum light now in, in this case I got it for my plants which I will show you uh, shortly um, this bulb is made by a company called Greenlight and I um, actually I found these um, bulbs uh, in a dollar store in my town uh, it's up and down the entire East Coast it's called the Dollar Tree it's a chain of dollar stores okay so it's a pretty great value you get like uh, I'd say about 60 watts of light with a very very low wattage so it, it, the energy savings is tremendous um, this one particularly is uh, extra energy saving compared to the typical compact fluorescent bulb now I'm going to show you my new uh, compact fluorescent uh, daylight bulb uh, full spectrum light uh, I got it at Walgreens it only cost me uh, $3.50 but it's, it's well worth it because uh, it is going to uh, help beat the winter blues and that's why I'm doing this video okay so that's the standard one just want to show you the difference and you see the difference and this is the um, the daylight bulb that I picked up at uh, Walgreens huh big difference huh has like a bluish um, tint to it right. daylight bulb standard compact fluorescent bulb group by green light all right back to the the new light bulb has like a, a pretty bluish uh, tint to it and uh, while I'm here I'll just show you my collection of air plants which is uh, known as Tillandsias they're tropical plants uh, usually from the rainforest of um, tropical regions in this case uh, uh, Mexico Central America South America this about in this vase there is uh, two three four I think there's five in here yes there are five air plants they're all together I have water in the bottom for humidity because they do need humidity uh, especially in the average American home it's very dry between central heating and, cent and air conditioning in the summer it gets very dry so you have to have humidity um, it's very important for them and uh, as far as water goes I soak mine in the uh, aquarium um, a heated aquarium which has dechlorinated water 
I submerge them and soak them for 30 minutes once a week, um, which I usually do on Fridays. And then when you take them out, you have to let them drain upside down. It's very important because you can't allow any of the water to remain too long inside the leaves of the plant. It'll actually rot the plant out. It'll get rotten and turn black and fall apart and die. Similar to roots that are soaking in water too long in a, in a standard house plant. All right, as you can see, the Ion Ionantha Fuego is starting to sprout a flower. There's, there's a spike coming out uh, of the center. So this air plant will um, get a blossom, as you can see the spike. And they all pretty much have this eventually. All right. And uh, I'll show you the other plant. Well, this is just uh, my ponytail palm uh, sort of bonsai that I started. Um, they're originally from the deserts of Mexico. Um, and palm trees make outstanding bonsai simply because they um, they automatically by themselves acclimate to, to the smaller pot. Okay, you do not have to wrap the tree in copper wire and force the tree to become miniatures uh, similar to what they do to pine trees in Japan. Okay, um, now this is my favorite air plant. All right, um, I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Xenographica, originally from Guata Guatemala, okay. Uh, they, they're, they're actually very endangered in the wild. They are endangered most likely because of over-harvesting. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I think this was captive bred and uh, it is known as the king of all air plants, all right? As you can see, it's quite beautiful, uh, fuzzy, silvery uh, leaves, and it's quite large. Um, and um, it looks great with this new compact fluorescent daylight bulb, which uh, should speed up the growth and the appearance of the plants. I also have water in the vase of stones that I got at the dollar store. All right, and uh, in the summer I will put them on the uh, the west uh, window, which is very sunny, and they will go right on the windowsill with the vase of water. Otherwise, the sun will burn them right out. You know, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if you could see that, but anyway, you see the difference now. Difference between the daylight bulb and the um, standard compact fluorescent. All right, thank you for joining me. Okay, it happens to be. Thursday, February 13th, 2014. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, a hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And I'm coming to you from northeastern New Jersey after the uh, yet another big blizzard. This is part two from the uh, previous video. Um, and this is the aftermath of it. And I will walk around and show you. Okay, uh, it stopped snowing, thank God, but it left quite a bit of snow that it dumped. And I will show you just how much snow it is since I shoveled. Alright. Yes, it, the sun just went down. And uh, I will 
show you the conditions here as well as what the um, town Department of Public Works of course every year does not do what they fail to do okay there we are there there's the uh, the inches right here um, just make sure you can see it um, there's a big mountain of snow on the front on the side of the house all right and as you can see the weight of the snow weighing everything down and we will focus on just how much we have here there's the walkway from ground level this gives you an idea I feel some rain coming down now the good thing is the good thing is that um, the temperature will be slightly above freezing which I hope melts some of this but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen since we have so much of it I, they did predict 10 to 14 inches but I have not um, listened to the uh, weather as far as exactly how many inches we got all right this gives you an idea how much we have I guess some of it's on the camera there's a there's a shot from the sidewalk all right as you can see it's quite a bit now you can see better here actually here's the, f the front of the house um, nighttime so you know the lighting may or not be ideal and uh, there's a car that's buried as you can see now in the cell in front of it the street the intersection now what this town in southern Bergen County did not do as normally is as you could see on the snow on the side of the street here and they do not plow the sides they only cruise up and down the middle of the street okay and all this snow is uh, normally parking spaces they don't plow the sides they just don't do it there's other cars if you can see it in the distance buried also all right and they're not plowing the sides because they're cronies they got they got a um, they got job security and they suck basically here in, uh, in southern uh, Bergen County New Jersey all right and that's it they don't plow the sides so it gives you an idea how much snow we have um, Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you uh, uh, during the next blizzard. I hope not. Since March is not far away, I hope this is the last blizzard of 2014. Gotta love global warming. Thank you, greedy corporations, oil companies, and um, the people that are destroying the rainforests of the world. All right that have caused this climate change you people will get yours in the end mother nature Gaia will get her revenge